One of the best ways to increase our sales conversions and make more profit is by optimizing our inventory, or as us dropshippers like to call it, our product pages. The product page is what your buyer sees right before they go on and purchase that product from your store. And we really want it to be very attractive with all of the right and necessary information, which is exactly what we will be going over in this video. Doesn't matter whether you're dropshipping on eBay or Shopify or anywhere else. So quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, glad to have you here today. As you know, I'm Liran, the content manager at AutoDS, and I've been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, we're going to go over how to optimize our product pages, get better ranking, and at the end of the day, get more sales. Our product pages is really one of the first things that our buyers see when they enter our product. And we really want this to be on point with all of the right and necessary information. And just one second before we begin, I want to remind you guys, if you're new to our YouTube channel, this is the part right now where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. That being said, let's go ahead and get started and learn about how we can really optimize our listings to stand out, rank better, get more sales and make more profit by the way guys i'm leaving a link to a blog article in the description below this video where you guys can continue learning about what i'm talking about in this video but do stay tuned in this video because i will be adding more valuable information so let's go ahead and get to it how can we really start optimizing our product pages to improve our ranking and get more sales? The first thing that I'm going to do is head over to the AutoDS drafts page where I have all of my draft products before I import them to the product section of my store before they go live so that people can start viewing them and purchasing my products. So first I'm importing products to my drafts page. Now that I have all of these products, I need to optimize them. Now, of course, I can optimize them even once they're in my products page. But in this case, I want my products to be fully optimized before reaching products. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. I'm just going to choose one product from this drafts page. Let's go with this plastic storage bin set. And here's the item editor for this product. I have more columns like description, variants, images, and specifications, which we will get to soon. But let's start with the products column. So the first thing that I'll notice here is the product's title. As you can see here, I have up to 255 characters to enter because this is being imported to a Shopify store as a destination. If the destination was an eBay store, I would have had 80 characters as a limit. So make sure that you know what the limit is. If you don't, it's written right here. And as you go along, you will notice that the numbers will start to increase or decrease depending on what I'm typing. So in this case, if I just add a whole bunch of letters, you can see that it keeps going up and it will continue until reaching 255. Once it reaches and exceeds that limit, we'll notice that it starts to turn red. That means that we exceeded our limit and that all of these letters that exceeded the limit will not be shown on our product's title. So whether you're dropshipping on eBay or Shopify, make sure that you take advantage of the characters. Don't make it too short, but also don't exceed it. But do take full advantage of what you can so that more buyers can get to your product. So for now, let's return the product to its original title and start working on it from there. I click on the view source link so that I can get the product's title. I can actually see the product page where I'm getting it from. Back to the product title on AutoDS. And here it is. Now your product title is very important and you really want to focus on this part. If you're dropshipping on eBay, it's more important than ever because that is how buyers are going to get to your listing using eBay search engine. So your product's title is one of the most important things that you can optimize on your product's listing. If you're dropshipping on Shopify or anywhere else, your product title also has a significant effect on how many people will get to and see your listing. But in marketplaces outside of eBay, you're probably going to have to pay traffic sources to bring traffic to your website anyway. But of course your product title is something important. So let's get this down to the best title that we can make for this product. So in this case, the first thing that I'm going to do is notice that Iris USA is the seller's name, as I can see here. So this product is being sold by a brand called Iris USA, which I don't want on my product's title. So what I'm going to do is simply delete Iris USA from there. TB also isn't relevant. Then we have the rest of the title, which is Pearl Plastic Storage Bin Tote Organizer Container with Durable Lid and Secure Latching Buckles, 5 Quart, 10 Count. So this title is descriptive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit it to only 80 characters as if we were on eBay because on Shopify, once again, you can simply go on and on and add more words that are relevant to this product. 
So what you're going to do if this was the case in Shopify is go to the products description, add more features as you see them. For example, we got the items that I mentioned, so we can also add that. And another thing that you can do is read the comments that this product got and you can get more keywords from the comments below where people are repeating some words over and over again you can use those words to add to your product's title because those are things that people are probably also writing when they are searching for this product that's another small example of what you can do to get more keywords for your product's title but if you ask me the best way to do it is to simply see what is working on the outside let's take this product for example let's break it down what is this product at the end of the day? Let's sum it up in two or three words. It is a plastic storage bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get those three keywords. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to head over to eBay, which in this case, we'll see that this is the selling channel that I'm selling on. And I will paste it right here. So I'm searching for plastic storage bin. And what you want to do is also make sure that you are shipping to the right country that you are targeting. So in this case, I'm checking the ship to the United States because once again, I want to sell to the US audience in this example. So I want to check the competition there. So I wrote plastic storage bin. Now, what I want to do here is see what products are selling for other sellers and try to get the best title that I can using also words that they are using. Now, I don't want to completely copy and paste a product's title because I will not rank that well since other sellers are already ranking on it. But what I will do here on the left side is I will click on sold items. This way I can see only the items with this title that have sold before in the past. I don't care about listings that haven't sold. They are not a good example for me. I only wanna see what is working for other sellers. Sometimes eBay will click on completed items, which means these are items that are no longer in stock. So I'm going to unclick on that and keep only the sold items checked in. Now I can see all of the sold item listings that have the words plastic storage bin in them. So here, for example, I got plastic storage container bin tote box wheeled 40 gallon two pack organizer with lid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in a new tab so I can copy the title. Now this seller only sold one of these, but he did sell it in the last 24 hours. So that means that it is relevant. Now you can get more examples from other sellers while I'm recording this video, by the way, it's October 9th. And as you can see, these products are also being sold on this day. So it's really showing me products that have sold right now recently. This one also sold October 9th. This one also sold October 9th, sold October 9th. So we know that they're doing a good job with their titles as it's working and it's selling. And we're going to take their examples to create our own. So in this example, we opened this seller. So we're going to take his product title, which sold in the last 24 hours. Then I'll head back to my drafts page and I will paste it over here. Now I will remove whatever is not relevant from this title. So plastic storage container, bin, tote box, up until here, everything is the same. Wheeled, I don't think that this product has wheels. And just looking from the image, we can see that it doesn't have wheels. It's not 40 gallons, so let's see how much it is. Five quart and a pack of 10. So I will change it to five quart. And instead of a two pack, it is a 10 pack. Organizer with lid. So an organizer it is. Let's see if they've got lids. And they do. So I'm going to keep this. And if this is eBay's case, I will have 80 characters, which I use 73 so far. So I can use a couple of more words here. In this case, we've got latching buckles, which is a nice addition to this product. So instead of with lid, I will call it with latching buckles. In this case, I passed 80 characters by a little bit. It's on 86 now. So I would try and see how I can make the title a little bit shorter without losing the strong words that it has in it. So in this case, I know that instead of quart, we can use QT and we still got 82 characters out of 80. So 10 pack, I will call it 10 PCS as in pieces, 81. So one character less, I need to take out one more character. So we'll just call it 10 piece instead of 10 pieces. And you guys just saw what I did there. I still kept all of the strong words that sold for other sellers. And I simply made the title relevant for my product using 80 out of the 80 characters that I would have on eBay. Because in this example, I'm on Shopify, I can still fill it up to 255 characters, which I won't do in this example, but you guys get the picture. Rinse and repeat what I just did here. And this way you'll really get the best product title. Now, if you've got a budget on the side, you can use more tools like keyword tool, which will give me a couple of searches for free. So let's see how we can get good titles using tools like keyword tool IO. In this case, once again, I'm going to take the product, which is plastic storage bin, 
And that is exactly what I'm going to search for on the keyword tool. So I'm going to copy this from here, paste it on the keyword tool. And as you can see, it wants me to register for a pro account. If I want to see all of the keyword ideas with the search volume and the trend, cost per click, competition and so forth. But I can still get the examples, some examples for free from here. So plastic storage bins with lids, we got that. Organizer, we also got that word. Lid, once again, we got it. So whether you're using free tools or paid tools, make sure that your product title is on point. Next, you've got your products collection. So if you're dropping shipping on Shopify, put it in its relevant collection. And if you're dropshipping on eBay, it's not relevant for you. Then you've got product tags. This is something that you really want to take advantage of because the product tag is going to help you analyze the performance of a certain niche or category of products in a very simple way. So this is something that you want to do to easily optimize your performance later. So in this example, I'm going to create a tag called storage bins. Then I'll click the plus sign here. Now this tag was just created on the system. So every time I add a product that belongs to the storage bins category, I will simply put it under the same tag. Then later on, when I go to my products page, I can click the add filter here on top. Then I can filter a certain tag. Then I can select whichever tag I want to see here. So in this example, since I didn't go through with the product creation yet, and I created the tag in the drafts page, I still won't see it here. But once I import it to the products page, the tag will of course show up here. And as soon as I click on it and I'll click on done, I will see only that product. In this case, I don't really have any leashes now, so we're not seeing anything. This is why you really want to take advantage of tags. Then you've got your shipping methods. So here you're going to choose if you want to go with the cheapest shipping method. So it doesn't matter if it has tracking information or not. I want AutoDS to always use the variant that has the cheapest shipping method. Or you can go with the cheapest method with tracking. So go with the cheapest shipping method as long as it has tracking information available. Or go with the fastest shipping method as long as it has tracking information available. Doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive. So choose whatever suits you best. Then you've got the brand. So if you don't want other people to see what brand you're selling so they can go and search it for themselves and find it somewhere else. In this case, you don't have to keep the brand you can just type unknown or you can type branded or during the import process, you can tell AutoDS to not write down the brand automatically. Then monitoring. So this is not relevant for inventory optimization, but you can choose here if you want AutoDS to monitor the stock. So if the stock changes on the supplier side, it will, it will also change on your store. Monitor the pricing. So if the price changes on the supplier's site, it will also change on your store automatically and enable automatic ordering if you want the automatic ordering service enabled, which means you don't have to fulfill your orders manually. Now let's get back to inventory optimization. We finished with the product column. Now let's move on to description. The first thing that you'll see here is that you can actually select a template to use. AutoDS already has a whole bunch of free templates that you can use. And your templates are something that you really want to take advantage of because once again it's the whole visualization effect around your products page and around your store in general so you want the product page you want the template to look really really good so in this case what you can do is you can click on edit templates and here you can see all of the templates that you have available on AutoDS. so i'm going to click here on AutoDS templates for ebay and as you can see we've got black friday since it's one of the holidays it's one of the sales events that's coming up halloween is coming up very soon i'm recording this video during october 9th and we've got Halloween at the end of the month. Best quality, best prices. So this is an evergreen template that you can use all year long. Merry Christmas sales, which is very good right now for Q4. In just a couple months from now, it's going to be very, very relevant. And as you can see, you've got more themes here. Some are seasonal and some are evergreen, so you can use them all year long. The best part about it, it's 100% free. So if you don't have time or if you don't want to purchase a template, from a graphic designer, you can simply use one of these free templates and that will simply do the work, which means your products pages and your templates won't be a boring black and white text that doesn't look like a professional business. So take advantage of templates and I will leave a link below this video that will teach you guys how to take full advantage of templates, where you can get your own unique templates, how you can create them, edit them and do so much more. So the link to that right below this video, but let's go back to the product page and continue optimizing our inventory. And of course, guys, when I say inventory, if you're a dropshipper, you're not really holding inventory, but the products that you have in your store are your inventory. All right, so let's open up the editor here again. And in this case, because I didn't save the draft over here, 
the title went back to what it was before because I jumped to a different page when I clicked on the template. So make sure after every small edit that you guys do on your product's title or anywhere on your product's pages, click save here and it will save the draft with these changes. All right, so we're at the beginning of the description. Once we choose a template, in this case, I'll just choose, let's say, Lior example. We selected our template and now we have the product's description itself. So a whole bunch of text describing what this product is, what are the features, what problem it helps us solve and why the customer needs to buy it. So in this example, of course, all of the product's description are taken from the supplier's page. So if I click on view source product, I'll be taken to the source page again. And here it is. So we've got the title, which we optimized. Then we've got the product's description, which starts right here. So made in USA quality. Let's go back to the drafts page, made in USA quality. So here we start, we're starting with that bullet list. The first thing that I wanna do is first of all, definitely copy the product's description. You don't need to change the words around too much, but what you do wanna do is delete the manufacturer's name or the seller's name. In this case, it's Iris USA. You don't have to do this, but it's another measure to make sure that the buyer doesn't look for this product or the seller in other places like Amazon in this example, and they'll find the source for this product. All right, so pearl plastic needs to have a space in the middle. So what you wanna do here is read the product's description thoroughly and make sure that there are no mistakes. Sometimes we are copying descriptions from Chinese sellers so the English isn't so good. So you do wanna fix that, but in this case, it is a US seller. I will just delete once again the seller's name, which I can see right here capitalize the L for the next sentence. So just make sure to read the whole description and make sure that nothing is missing or nothing is wrong. Then we've got the style name. So it's five quarters, 10 pack. Once again, size is five quarters. Life is messy and chaotic. So up until now, we optimized everything until we get down here. Let's do it really quick. Scroll down here. Now we've got all of these images and text that didn't move over because of its format style. But if we go down a little bit further down to the product description here, life is messy and chaotic. So here we have all of this text. So in this case, of course, continue optimizing. So in this case, I'll delete the seller's name. Probably made in USA plastic storage bins. Maybe even create another line break. Doesn't need to be exactly the same that, like your seller. You don't want a whole bunch of text being crunched up together. People will most likely not read it. Make it a little bit more easy to read, a little bit more friendly with some more line breaks. Of course, you can add more bullet points, numbering lists, and so forth. And in this case, I would also wanna add all of the text and images that we see over here. So if you wanna add more things to your product's description, you can simply highlight all of it like this, copy, control C on Windows, move down a little bit here, and paste it here at the end. And as you see, the images and the text got transferred quite professionally. And if I click the preview button, let's see how it comes out. Okay, so here we go. We've got all of the product's images right here on the left side. We've got the title, the price, and we've got the product's description right here. Now what I wanna do is click on save to save my progress so far. And let's move on to the next column, the variance column. Now, if this product's got variance and when I imported the product to AutoDS, I told it to also import the variance. That's exactly what it did right here. So in this case, we've got eight variants. Some are in stock, some are on hold. We can hover over to see the reason. Product will be shipped in 14 days on the supplier site, which is higher than 10 days by your configuration. So on my AutoDS settings, I can change my configuration to say, so if the product will be shipped anytime in 14 days, that's fine. But since I, since I configured in this case 10 days, then AutoDS just puts it on the site for now. It puts it on hold for now, and it will return it to stock once we change our configuration accordingly. So in this case, we can see the variants that were grabbed. Out of all of the variants that we see here, whatever is relevant, so they were grabbed here, and all of them will be available for sale, except for whatever is on hold or whatever is out of stock. All of them will be available for sale as soon as we import this product, once we are done optimizing the product page and our inventory here. So what can you do with the inventory that you are seeing here? I'm going to click on one of the variants or the edit button over here. It doesn't matter. It'll do the same action which is open a small window with all of the variance settings and configurations. So in this case, we've got the buy price, which is how much is being sold on our supplier's page. In this case, $39.98. And the profit, 200%, I think is a little bit high. That's an automatic setting that I put on AutoDS, but I need to update it back down to around 30%, 40%, whatever you guys want to profit. That is definitely your game, your competition. I don't know what products you're selling under what niche and what your competition 
position is so i don't know to tell you exactly what you should be profiting but if it was my store i don't drop your products under 40 percent profit another profit in a dollar amount what are your fees so in this case say my break even fees are 30 percent or even 25 percent and i would like to make another 40 percent profit on top of that which means i'm going to need to sell this product for 74 dollars and 99 cents all right i want to include the shipping price inside and i'm going to go ahead and click on the save button so what i just did was i edited the settings for this specific variant i will need to do the same for all of the variants and i can just use this bulk grabber over here to make a bulk selection get all of the variants here select all of them click on edit and then change all of their fees to 25% break even. Change the default quantity if you want. The profit in dollar amount. So I want to make a clean 30 cents profit on each product along with another 40% in profit. Or you can make a fixed sell price, change the default quantity and so forth. Now I'm going to click on update. And now all of these changes are being made for these variants down here below. So in just a couple of seconds, we'll start to see the changes here. And as I can see, it already optimized it here. 74.99 just like this one and once again if i refresh this page i'll see that it's being done for the rest of these variations and that is how you can optimize all of the variants without having to open them one by one so whether you have 100 variants or one variant all of this can be done very easily that is a great way to optimize your inventory and i will show you more tricks coming up now in the images column there's a whole lot more that we can do to optimize our product pages and rank much better with our products way over our competition first hover over one of the images in this case i'll hover over the main image and then click on edit you have some options here which you can see once you hover over but if you click on the edit button you'll open our advanced image editor and i'm going to leave a link to a full explanation on how to take advantage of this tool right under this video i'll just show a quick glance for now so let's click on edit and as you see the main image loaded up here with a grid background so it tries to get rid of the background show you only what's important in this image and from here you can start optimizing this image so first you've got the regular things so you can crop the image flip rotate and then we're going to get to the more advanced things like draw so you can have straight lines you can draw freely you can choose whatever color you want and whatever range you want which means how thick or how thin we want the drawing pencil to be so for example i'll just draw something really quick but of course it's not really relevant for this image just know that you have this option so let's undo that then you've got shapes you can add a whole bunch of icons and of course you can add text bold italic underline left center align it to the right wherever you want and you can add mask which is add more images inside these images add more filters and so forth i don't want to demonstrate it here because once again i'm leaving a link below this video if this is the feature that you want to see but i just want to mention that your products images is one of the most important things when it comes to whether this viewer is going to buy this product or skip on to the next seller or the next store so you really want to optimize your products images if it looks exactly like what your competitor is doing you're probably not going to rank better than them and we're here to increase our product page ranking this is one of the best ways to do it using the free advanced image editor tool that you have using AutoDS. Now your item specifications tells the buyer everything that they need to know about this product. So you wanna add as many item specifications as possible. Once again, it doesn't matter if you're drop shipping on eBay or Shopify, Facebook marketplace or anywhere else. Once the buyer sees your product because they search for something on Google or on eBay or Facebook or anywhere else, next thing that they're going to see after the product's title is the product's image, which we just went over and then if, when they're interested in your product they're going to read the item specifications to make sure that it's really what they are looking for whether it's the size the weight the color and other specifications that you have so what you want to do in this case is add as many item specifications as you have available for your product one of the ways to do it is to once again click on view source product and here you can see all of the item specifications if you scroll down a little bit so some of it is written here like the material is plastic the color is pearl the pattern is bin the brand in this case not so relevant and you've got the item dimensions now each supplier has it in different pages or different parts of the page if i scroll down a little bit more i will see additional item specifications as you can see right here so product information we've got the dimensions we've got the weight we've got the country of origin and let's see what else is relevant the number of pieces batteries you require no 
and what components are included with this item. So in this case, what I would do is start adding more specifications than what we have here. So we've got the pattern, we've got the brand, which in this case, you can even delete by clicking on the recycling bin here. You can choose to edit something by clicking on the pencil icon. So in this case, pearl white or whatever the color is so we've got the material we've got the item dimension style name size so all of this was already imported automatically from auto ds but of course if i've got more information i can add it for example number of pieces so let's copy that click on add item specification number of pieces and in this case it is a 10 pack add that and keep going, add as many specifications as you can to describe this product. Now, if you're dropshipping on eBay, you'll see an option here to also copy item specifications from a seller. So if you're copying a product from a certain seller on eBay, you simply have to copy the seller's URL, paste it over here, and all of the item specifications from that eBay seller will get pasted right here on your item specifications page. But once again, you have to go over each and every line and make sure that everything is relevant for your product. Once an item specification does not correspond with the product that you are selling, the buyer will have a clear case to open an item is not as described case, and you will have to return that product or send him a partial refund or a full refund depending on what he wants. So do not give the buyers the power to tell you, hey, you seller, you are wrong, and now you owe me. Therefore, you want to make sure that your item specifications are correct, are exact, and if you don't know something, if you're not sure about it, just delete it from the item specifications, and it is not a copy and paste game. As I mentioned, not on your product's title, not on the product's images, not on the product's description, and definitely not on the product's item specifications. We are getting ideas from other sellers who are selling successfully and implementing it with what's relevant for our product. That way we'll start our own selling trends, we'll see what's working, what's not, and we'll increase our chances of getting more sales and ranking much, much higher on the platform that we are selling on, meaning we're going to get even more traffic this way, more sales and more profit. The final piece of advice that I have for you guys to optimize your inventory in the best way possible is to go over your products page and make sure that you've got the relevant items in your store. Whatever is not in stock or has been out of stock for a while, delete it, make room for better items that have a much better chance of selling that are in stock. Let me show you some examples. So here on the product page, you have the filter section here on top. And this is one of the best tools that's going to really help you optimize all of your inventory, all of the products that you have on your store. So first you can add any type of filter. For example, I wanna see what products I have on a certain selling site using a certain supplier, a specific supplier like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and so forth by a specific region. So I wanna see what products I have from that are being imported from the US or from China or from anywhere else. Product tags, which I talked about in this video. You can also search for a product by its title. You can search by a manufacturer if you're working with specific manufacturers, by a brand, once again, if you're working with a specific brand, by a product note. So by, as you can see here, I can leave a note next to every product. For example, let's say I wanna leave a note for this product, call it a bundle set. Then I can search for all of the notes that I have using the words, for example, bundle set, which is another way to do it with product tags. And as you can see, you have so many options over here, but how can we use the filters to optimize our inventory? My first piece of advice is to see all of the products that are simply out of stock. So in this case, I'm going to choose inventory status, and I wanna see all of the products that are out of stock and even on hold. On hold means it's in stock on the supplier's site, but something in my settings, my personal settings on AutoDS, is letting AutoDS know that this product is not right for me, so leave it on the site for now, leave it out of stock, even though we have it in stock on the supplier's site, which I talked about a few minutes ago in this video. So let's see all the products that are simply not in our stock. We have it on our dropshipping platforms, but we don't have it available in stock on our selling channels. So these are the products here. As you can see, out of stock, everything has out of stock numbers. And even though some do have variations that are in stock, they have other variations that are out of stock. And if I hover over, I will see the exact reason why this product is out of stock. So here, it's unavailable on the suppliers page. And here, it's also unavailable on the suppliers page, which is why it's out of stock. So the first thing that I wanna do is wipe out all of these products that are hogging up places on my store that are not even in stock in the first place. So I don't even need them, especially if they haven't sold here in the past, as you can see. 
here and you can see the DWS days without sell how many days went on without this product selling so here we're looking at 173 days which means about half a year that this product was just sitting in my stores or out of stock and it simply hasn't sold so in this case I will delete all of these variations that are out of stock I can grab them one by one here or I can make a bulk selection and simply delete them from my store if there are more products here in other pages like page 2 then I can click here, select all 28 products instead of all 20 that I have on this page. And now it's selected all of the variations that are out of stock on my store. And I'm simply going with a bulk delete. Then I'll choose to delete from AutoDS and the selling platform. And this way I'm making room for products that are in stock that will sell on my store and that won't simply collect dust. This is one of the best ways to manage your inventory. And, it, and as you can see here, it's being done live in front of me. So right now what I did is I deleted all of the products that are out of stock or on hold on my store. Now, if I unclick on this filter, I'm back to my products page. Let's just unselect all of the products. And as you can see here, all of the variations are in stock. Everything is green. So now, once again, everything is in stock and I can make room for products that will sell on my store and won't be out of stock. That is one of the best ways to optimize your inventory. And I really want you guys to play around with these variations, play around with the filters that you have here and look for better ways to optimize your inventory, to keep your products in stock and to keep selling what's relevant with the best product titles, the best product descriptions, optimize variants, optimize item specifications. And this way you will see that your products are ranking better. You are getting better traffic your images stand out and at the end of the day more traffic more sales and that is what we are here to do i hope this not so short video helped you guys understand what you can do to rank better with your products get more traffic and more sales by doing a simple thing called inventory optimization of course the products that you're selling have a huge effect on whether your product will sell or not but if you add all of the inventory optimization that you can do on those products that you are adding you will definitely notice a huge difference in the amount of traffic and sales that you are getting on your store so i hope that you guys found this video informational once again if you are new to our channel subscribe so that you'll always stay updated on all of the latest and hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping with videos like this one and so much more hit that subscribe button like and share this video thank you for watching happy product optimization and i'll see you in the future videos